Personal Story segment tonight, Senator John McCain, who's a friend to this program, has a new book out called 13 Soldiers, A Personal History of Americans at War, just in time for Veterans Day tomorrow. Last week, the senator and I sat down. Senator, a couple of political questions first. You're a big uh, immigration guy. You had a uh, bill that you uh, didn't get passed. Uh, now, President Obama says he may use uh, executive authority, his power, to legalize some uh, undocumenteds, and the Republican Party is threatening him uh, with Armageddon if he does. How do you see it? Well, I see it as a uh, cynical action that means that the president really isn't that interested in comprehensive immigration reform. He's only interested in placating his base in this uh, Hispanic par uh, par population of our nation because he knows full well that that will cause a, a, a huge negative reaction amongst the Republicans and frankly most Americans. Now, uh, he said in his press conference last week uh, that he was willing to work with Republicans on the immigration issue. Uh, but then he says uh, if it's not done by the end of the year, he's going to take unilateral action. So I'm confused. I want you to try to make a prediction here. What do you think he's going to do? I'm very much afraid that he is going to take unilateral, unilateral action so he can go back to the Democrat Hispanic base, those that have been very critical of him for not acting, and say, see there, we'll blame it all on the Republicans in Congress again. So you think he wants a civil war for political reasons? Is that what you're saying? I can't say that specifically, that that's his intention, but I can certainly say that that's going to be the effect. And, and Bill, this is an issue that we can sit down and resolve. We can work I together. I and, think so. And, and, the, and if we had a legislation start in the House in whatever form, a DREAM Act, uh, something like that, then we could work in the Senate with them. Uh, but for him to unilaterally carpet bomb us here, then that is going to cause a huge negative reaction, frankly, amongst my constituents. Last week, the president, uh, it was revealed, he didn't tell us, but it was revealed, that the president wrote a note to the mullahs in Iran uh, saying, hey, why don't you help us out fighting ISIS? And you objected to that because Iranians have supported Assad in Syria, who are killing uh, the people that we're supposed to be allied with against ISIS. It gets pretty complicated. It gets complicated, but it's immoral. We're now supposedly training about 5,000 or more Syrians who are going to go back in and fight against Bashar Assad. Who is it that's killing them? It is barrel bombs and equipment supplied by the Iranians. It is the Hezbollah, the 5,000 or more of them, who were brought in from Lebanon by the Iranians. So we're supposed to send them in to fight Bashar Assad while we are playing footsie and getting in bed with the Iranians. And for us to, to somehow believe that we can cooperate with probably our greatest enemy when you look at outright enemies on earth, to me, is both naive, cynical, and frankly, immoral. All right. Now, you uh, have a new book out uh, tomorrow, 13 Soldiers on Veterans Day. It's an interesting book because you're, you're profiling uh, guys from the Revolutionary War all the way up to modern times. What is the takeaway from this book? A depiction of those uh, individuals, most of them very ordinary people from ordinary walks of life who uh, were engaged personally in conflicts throughout our history, and we describe those conflicts a bit to some degree, uh, their feats of heroism, their bravery, and their, uh, the results uh, of that. But they are ordinary citizens who did extraordinary things. All right, Senator, thanks very much. The book is 13 Soldiers, great gift for Veterans Day. Thank you, my friend.